Question. P.S. If A is greater than zero and B is less than zero and C is greater than zero, which of the following must be true? Solution. The third property of inequality. When we multiply two quantities, the signs of inequality will change according to the rules stated below, which is multiplication rule in inequality. This is a basic inequality formula, so remember this carefully. Positive times positive equal to positive, and positive times negative equal to negative, and negative times positive equal to negative, and negative times negative equal to positive. The second property of inequality. Multiplying or dividing an inequality by a negative number changes the direction of the inequality sign, which is negative rule in inequality. That is, if a is greater than b, then a times x is less than b times x, and a over x is less than b over x, where x is less than zero. The third fundamental concept in inequality, the sum of two larger quantities will be greater than the sum of two smaller quantities. If a is greater than b and c is greater than d, then a plus c is greater than b plus d. We are required to select the option that is true if a is greater than zero and b is less than zero and c is greater than zero. Let us check each option. A, a plus b is greater than zero. If a equal to one, which is greater than zero, and b equal to negative three, which is less than zero, then a plus b equal to one minus three, that equals to negative two, which is less than zero. Hence, this option is not true. B, a times b times whole of c minus one is whole less than zero. If c equal to one, that is greater than zero. Then a times b times whole of c minus one equal to a times b times whole of one minus one, that equals to a times b times zero, that equal to zero, which is not less than zero. Hence, this option is not true. C a times c minus b is whole greater than zero. Now, since a is greater than zero and c is greater than zero, then a times c is greater than zero by the third property of inequality. Also, b is less than zero, which, when multiplied by negative one, will become negative b is greater than zero, according to the second property of inequality. Hence, when you add two positive quantities, a times c and negative b, the result will be positive. Therefore, we get a times c plus negative b is whole greater than zero, or a times c minus b is whole greater than zero, by the third fundamental concept. Hence, this option is true. D b times c is greater than zero. If b equal to negative one, which is less than zero, and c equal to one, which is greater than zero, then b times c equal to negative one times one, that equals to negative one, which is less than zero by the third property of inequality, which is multiplication rule inequality. Hence, this option is not true. E whole of a plus one whole times b is whole greater than zero. If a equal to one, which is greater than zero, and b equal to negative one, which is less than zero, then whole of a plus one whole times b equal to whole of one plus one times negative one, that equals to negative two, which is less than zero by the third property of inequality, which is multiplication rule in inequality. Hence, this option is not true. Only option C is true, and thus, C is the right answer. Answer C.